So in this video, I'm going to show you how to insert record into a table. So this is XAMPP software. I hope you all know how to install and run XAMPP software. And if you don't know, you guys can always check a new YouTube videos. So first here we will go in SQL section. <coughs> it taking times. Okay, we got here. Then for inserting record, we have to use the statement insert into then our table name. Our table name here is students details. Then we have to define column names. So first we have role. This set you can see role name age CGP city. We are going to I'm going to type this sequentially. Then has age CGPA and last is city now as we all want to insert value we have to declare value then first bracket open first bracket close role as role is an integer number we don't have to use any single quotation so 101 is a role, then name as name is character type data. So we have to use single quotation and for name I use our okay, then comma, then h. It is integer type, so we don't have to use any quotation, comma, then cgp. Cgp is a decimal type. Okay, what CGP should give Java? Okay, let's see. Three point seven eight. Then cities. We have to single quotation. From our city Dhaka. And last but not the least, we have to use semicolon. I'm going to copy it in case I need it later then i'll go here let's see what happens okay one row is inserted let me see how it looks okay here you can see i have inserted one row and if we want to insert multiple rows then we can do it like this first insert into then we have to define table name that means in which table we want to insert it in my earlier i have here defined column names we can define it column names or we can just left it untyped or undefined but we have to insert our value sequentially here like first we have to insert role then name then age then cgp then city so you know typing column names or defining column names is it's not mandatory but we have to follow this order when we are inserting any value or rows okay student detail then as we want as i want to insert multiple rows then we have to use value statement then first bracket open first bracket close And the two, there is name Barak, age, let's see, 24. Then CGP, CGP, what CGP should 3.8 now? Then CD, C, 
city city borisha Now we have to use, as this is the last statement, we have to use semicolon. I am copying it in case I need it. Now we'll go. Okay, I have mistaken here as this is a character that, that I forgot to put single quotation, so that's the mistake. Sorry, it's taking time. We'll just change value that. Select Alex, you see this name is open. Let's just change CGP a little bit. Let's just hit my name. Age 23. That's perfect. I'm copying it. Let's just run it. So, as you can see, I have successfully inserted three rows. Let's see how it looks. So, that's how it looks. In total, I have inserted four rows. Again, I have done a mistake and cool null. So, I have to edit it. Let's just edit. Now, I'm going to show you another. Uh, manual inserting method you don't have to write any statement you just go here cool no. yeah that's great save it now we go so as you can see i have edited the name cool so that's all in this video I hope you guys learned how to insert record or multiple records that's all in this video hope that it was educative enough for all of you guys